Yeah, right, here we go. Now we're gonna get jingled now. Yes. No, no I think I think I have to be talking in order to get jingled. See? There we go. Competition, which is go nuts. Yes. <laughs> a simple introduction to Piet, which is an awesome language to create executable create, uh, graphics. I have seen this. Um, just, okay, this is going to be nuts. Just sit back and watch. And it's by Michelos. It, which, all, you know, that defines nuts, but <laughs> yeah. Hello, guys. Have you ever wanted to create an executable image? No, not like that. I mean, a real executable image? Well, then let me introduce you to Beat. First disclaimer, I'm not the greatest explainer, so I might forget something, and my language barrier sucks. Sorry for the inconvenience. Beat is named after the Dutch painter Beat Mondrian, because the image, or the goal to be more specific, looks like a modern painting. Originally, David Morgan Ma, the creator of Beat, wanted to name this Isolang Mondrian, but was taken at the time for a scripting language Mondrian script, uh, which is now defunct, I guess. Oh, and this language is stack based, which means it has its own memory that you can increase and decrease the value, for example. Mount that later. And it uses, as you know by now, colors. You might be wondering, what? do the colors do and why is this code the exact same as this one? Well, there are two things you need to know about the commands. First are the colors. There are 20 different colors, to be specific 6 hues, red, yellow, green, cyan, blue and magenta, for each hue a lighter and a darker hue, black and white. I don't know exactly why in this order because I didn't read any documentation. And second are the actual commands. Second disclaimer, I'm not going to go through all of the commands, just the necessary ones that I use for this broad. If you want to know more about the stuff, read the actual documentation at the Isodank wiki. There are a lot of basic commands like adding numbers to the stack or subtracting them. But one type of command that I enjoy using the most are the output commands. These both output commands out character and out number output the current numbers or characters that are being showed inside the stack like here the 70 and the F also don't forget about the dupe command it saves the stack into memory to reuse in later calculations and with a combination with these commands you can turn some bulky code like this to some compact code like this also, what I use is black that's being used as a wall to prevent the gold from going further, for example. And white, which does nothing, is just there to make the gold look much nicer, like the white space in a regular gold. The gold starts from the top left corner and it goes around clockwise. But pick, how can I make my own geeky pixel art? Well, there are some different IDEs but I use this IDE because it's very beginner friendly and it shows what command you have to follow with the color palette. And during the debugging process, it shows you what your code does. This array is where you draw the pixels or as how Mr. Morgan Moore wants you to call them codals. A codal or code pixel is pretty much a square of any size so that you don't have to create literal pixel arts. You can change the side of the canvas and you doodle around on the canvas and create awesome stuff like that Amiga logo that actually outputs
Now I know you have been waiting for the actual prod since this was only the introduction to beat. And now it's time for my prod. Which is on the second video. Just click the X in the top right corner and open the second video that's in the same folder as this one. See you in a bit. What the hell? What do you mean? Why did you include trash in your prod? No, that goes in the yellow bin. <laughs> whoa, 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 wait, no, no. Ugh, I didn't mean to click on that. Ugh, stupid lag. Why was this here in the first place? Ah, finally. Hey, welcome back. Now it's time for the actual prod I made for this party. I present you this. A revision logo that outputs... Wait for it. Revision 2K24. I hope you enjoyed my little prod. Ja, geil, you... danke für nix. <laughs> All right, anyway, where are the next slides? <laughs> How did I get in there? <laughs> You're always there. <laughs> <just, that's... laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, that probably sets the tone of the competition. Oh, right, then, <laughs> entry number two is Blue Saxophone. Uh, a music disc designed for the Commodore Amiga CDTV, which was... Um, Experiments. <laughs> it was, and yeah. uh, I have one in the States. Mm.
Yeah, it is a bit of a shame that music discs don't really have a decent way to showcase themselves at no. a demo party, but there you go. Yeah. Oh, Risk V. This is going to be excellent. Risk Vision by Xylem and WRD. Uh, I really want a Risk V machine. And there you go. That was a very quick combo filler. <laughs> Chip Chop 17 by Desire, another music disc. 72 tracks. <laughs> We're going to be here a while. Yeah. Chip Chop 17 by Desire. 72 tracks, um, 2 hours 47 minutes total runtime. Bad Aeon by Shiro 8 Bit. This is the traditional Bad Apple garbage <laughs> version thing <laughs> that should not be in this competition because it's not a demo, but actually, okay, it's the wild compo. So this is the one place you can do it. Yep. Anyway, it's the hardware, it's from 1993, it's Z80 powered, and we're going to watch this stupid animation. <laughs> Okay, well, if it's on the phone, okay, I'm going to be impressed.
I kind of hate that Bad Apple is the demo scene's doom. I just uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, that was a that was, I'm impressed by that. Um, I don't ever want to see it again. It is impressive, technically. It is, it is. It, it techni it's, 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 it's technically impressive. It's just I really wish that it wasn't doing the same video playback. I'd rather somebody, you know, make a, you know, their own. I mean, Gas Man's version was, is, anyway. Oh, and speaking so, of things that have been done to death, uh, <laughs> Raving Tomatoes. Oh, okay. No, I, I don't mind Raving Tomatoes. We've missed them for a couple of years. Man. <laughs> So yeah, the A is uh, A is the the German word for for egg. Yeah. So Chiparia number eleven by the Chiparia Project. Mm. So um, yeah, we have more uh, chip tunes. Excellent. More music discs. And it will uh, start soon. There we go.
Chip area number 11 there. Uh, more music discs. A statement on the platform walls. Moonbase All Stars. I'm assuming that's Luna's Moonbase. Uh, yeah, probably, very likely. Yeah, a fun bit of ancient code revival and party coding to say something about the nonsense of the platform flavors. Happy Trans Day of Visibility. Platform. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a single XE that runs on many, many platforms. And, just, um, <laughs> and is also a zip containing the code. And fantastic. the PDF with the documentation. <laughs> I mean, Lazy Space by Wild Furs. Custom thing. Oh. Uh, custom soldered hardware and 3D printed parts. Uh, lazy Space, Spaceship Shooter. Yes, this is the thing that was in the toilet tunnel, or near the toilet tunnel, is the chair by Wild Furs.
Since we're both not excellent programmers, we felt we had to come up with something simpler but wildly different and especially fun. After some sessions of woodworking, 3D printing and blink and lighting, we made a nice visor for our chair. For us, soldering things is no big deal. So we put some wires between the Raspberry Pico, two YM2413 chips and a few more bits and parts. Many hours of typing and head scratching went by, but just in time things started working. We have a proof of concept. Using modern home computer technology, simple electronic parts and a fairly new microcontroller, we made the base of what can become an awesome game. By turning the chair and using the throttle, you move in 2D space. That was Lazy Space <laughs> by Wild Furs. That was nuts. <laughs> Scene Lake School Play by Skinner Yarbin Alla Aste 2024. Sometimes we just want to make you smile. Translation. The students of Scene Lake Primary School have done a fun project using during the spring, and here you can see enjoy the results of the project. You are welcome. Oh, you did say 30 seconds. Uh, this apparently has a 30-second uh, or something uh, startup time, so uh, we're just... Meidän yläasteen oppilaat, luokan 9B oppilaat ovat tehneet hienon projektin kevään aikana, ja tässä nyt päästään nauttimaan projektin tuloksista. Olkaa hyvä. back did not realize that was a live action thing <clears throat> and completely missed the beginning yeah <laughs> melodies two by resistance another music desk one floppy
not cool girls. I get older, they stay the same age. <laughs> And that was Melodies 2, or parts of Melodies 2. Obviously, all these music discs, uh, there's much more content. You should get them and listen to them. So, Immaterial by Slipstream and uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Uh, on the Wii U, which I believe is the first, yes, the first demo scene release on the Wii U.
and this stream has just been shut down by Nintendo. I'm sorry about that. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> we survived the Twitch band, but not the <laughs> Well, no, we won't get we, the CCC will carry us anyway. Analogic yeah. music disc. Another music disc from Med of Analogic. Well, probably from Analogic in general. But <laughs> uh, for all the chiptune lovers, and this one runs on Windows, Linux, Mac OS, and online. Yeah. So you don't necessarily need an Amiga or an Amiga emulator to run this one. Or a CD to there, too. Analogic there. <laughs> I think that's every tune that was ever released on Analogic. Yeah. But uh, yeah, entry number 14 is Scroll by Blinray and Winnie Hell. 32 HTML scroll bars. <laughs> this is getting madder by the second.
I went to the, to, oh, is it not over? Ah, there we go. Oh, it's over, there we go. I went to the toilet, I come back, and I said, oh, that looks like something from Blinry. And you were right. And this is PSX from NGC. On the PSX, obviously. Uh, PlayStation 1, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Happy birthday, PlayStation 1. <laughs> I remember playing Final Fantasy VII on the PC and then thinking, I can't wait for FF8, so I'm just going to buy a PlayStation. <laughs> so I did. And entry number 16 is Cortex by Decadence. I will mention, well, I'll mention it after.
music for that from Planet Bolex will be available uh, next Friday on Bolex.org. Um, and uh, please go get it. It's available for you next week. Yes. Now, what were we saying about the PlayStation? Well, there was some discussion about uh, being able to run PlayStation stuff on PS2 and uh, also on PS3.